All right, we're back in Mega Man Legacy Collection 2. Mega Man 9. And this was a game released, surprisingly enough, in 2008, I believe? Much later than you probably would have expected. Because, well, it's, uh... It's PlayStation 2 and Xbox 360 era. And it looks like something on the PS1. Retro gaming at its best. It's definitely a retro title made in the style of the original, I guess, first three Mega Man games. I mean, all the Mega Man games from the place are the NES, the Nintendo Entertainment System, or the Famicom kind of looked like this. Although, the lack of special abilities like the Mega Buster Charge and the Slide mean that uh, the game plays more like the first three games than in any of the other ones that followed. Although, they do seem to have this bolt system. Now, this one was one I was really excited for when it was coming out, but I ended up not... I mean, I played it for a bit. I don't think I ever... Oh, shit. Okay, I made it. <laughs> I don't think I ever beat it. I definitely didn't beat it. Let me let me amend that statement. <laughs> Why? Because, well, it's not just in the style of the old Mega Man games. It's hard as fuck. And that was definitely an intentional thing that they did. There we go. <laughs> oh, you fucker. Oh, all right. <laughs> Just a little way of giving us an idea of what the uh, next section is going to be about. You know, I wonder how much, like, uh, if this game would have been more possible on the old NES compared to what we're looking at here, because... Oh, you fucker. That was close. <laughs> how poss possible it would have been to play this game on the old NES, because on one hand, it does look like an NES game, but just because it looks like something doesn't mean it would actually function on it, because the NES had a lot of problems with these games when it came to, um, well, let's say, uh, number of sprites available. Alright. Like, the NES could only display a number of a certain number of sprites on the screen at once, and if you went past that number, then there would be slowdown, you'd have multiple sprites just kind of um, overlapping each other, and then, like, one would start to look like the other because you could only actually have the one in that scan line. Like, let's let's look at what we got here. Now look at all those sprites that appeared up there. There is a little bit of a glitch with that one. Uh, not Z-Fighting, because that's not what it's doing, but with the Mega Man Extra Life head. But you have all of those heads in the same scan lines, occupying the same scan lines, which are horizontal resolution lines, as the big one on the left side of the screen. The old NES would not have been able to do that, because it couldn't have that many sprites occupying the same... same scan line. Ah, you f bastards. You know what, I was gonna try and get that left, that extra life. But it's kinda pointless, because this is an Until I Die episode, and it's only gonna last in Oh, shit! It's only gonna last until I manage to, uh die. Which, let's be fair, it's not going to be too long. The bolt system, that was used, I guess I maybe I mentioned this in the previous episode, but the bolts were used for like an in-game store. Okay, so it, good old, good old Mega Man level design, they gave me an idea of the thing is going to jump down like around here and it's gonna drag me into those spikes so I gotta sort of play it out a little bit it's a good thing I put those lines in the back of the screen oh good 
Now it's gonna happen again. You're gonna drag me into this hard hat. Ah, oh, wait, no, it didn't. Well, so, gotta be some kind of a trick there. Oh, you. No, 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 no! You fucker. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's how it goes. <laughs> that's how it goes. Where am I? Well, I... Well, it, it brought me back a little ways. Well, anyway, that's where it has to end, isn't it? Oh, well. 